Hello, Mayor Glenn Wilson with you and Councillor Corin O'Donnell in front of a building earmarked for childcare here in our city, which Councillor O'Donnell will tell you about in just a couple of moments. You've got the tall and the short of it from your elected members in this update. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mayor. This is a great opportunity for the community to find out what happened at our council meeting last night. We're here at Dugan Street, one of the proposed locations for a childcare facility that was approved last night at council. Part of that approval meant that there's going to be 130 childcare places, 23 local jobs and $1.2 million worth of refurbishments to be carried out across the three facilities. Last night, Council elected to place a submission into the inquiry into regional telecommunications. We all understand the frustrations that it is when we can't access our telecommunications providers as best we can. So we're taking on an advocacy role, not only for our city, but also for regional areas right across Australia. Last night, Council showed its commitment to the improving of roads within our community by approving the tender for the supply and construction of bitumen surfacing. As you can see, our roads within the city of Kalgoorlie and Boulder are so wide, we have to spend so much more money compared to other councils and cities. The city spends approximately $23 million per year on the resurfacing program within the city. There's 600,000 square metres of ceiling, 160,000 square metres of asphalt, and 10,000 square metres of red asphalt footpath. So if you bear with us, we are trying to get as much as we can done as soon as we can. Thank you. We're now here at the City of Calgary Boulder Administration Building. Last night, the city endorsed a 5% increase to the base salary for our CEO, Andrew Bryan. Andrew has made significant changes and inroads in improving organisational culture, improved governance practices and delivery of service standards for the City of Calgary Boulder. Council commends our CEO, Andrew Bryan, for the role and leadership he has taken not only within our city, but also in our greater region and beyond as well. It's a credit to his integrity and professionalism in the role. Further to that, the city also endorsed last night our CEO to conduct a research paper into antisocial behaviour and homelessness affecting our city. This particular project will take on various different research across all of Australia, not just from within the goldfields, and deliver back to council all of the information required for us to be leaders in this front moving forward. Next week, the city is sending a delegation to Adelaide as part of the Australasian Hotel Industry Conference and Exhibition. This particular exhibition gives council staff and also elected members the opportunity to look at what is available on the market in the hotel industry at this present point in time. When it comes to the Kalgoorlie Golf Hilton Doubletree Resort, our residents want to see results. Council are exploring all options to ensure the community gets the best out of this development. The City is proud to continue its partnership service agreement with the Golden Quest Discovery Trail in partnership with the Shires of Coolgardie, Menzies, Leonora and Laverton. Our City is donating $11,500 to help continue and promote the historical, cultural and environmental landscape that this Discovery Trail projects. Due to the recent flooding on the Transline Access Road, Council last night approved emergency expenditure to help with the remediation of the roads to get them back on track. So that's an update from last night's Ordinary Council meeting and thank you very much for the opportunity to deliver that to you today via our Facebook and also our social media channels. Yes, yeah, thank you Mayor, that's great that we can update the community with what's been happening and a reminder to all those people for Anzac Day commemoration Thursday morning at Boulder Loop Line and at the train station here in Kalgoorlie.